Hope there's some bear traps around here. Disarm those. Good. Alright. Here we are. Oh, fuck! What a dick! Jeez, fuck you, man! Ugh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I, I uh, fucked up my own dog. Okay, it's fine. Stray dog is still alive. Ooh. Jeez! This dude's like shield bashing like nobody's business. Ooh, shit, sorry. Oh, no! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had traveled near and far to slay a super giant. Well, just a regular giant that was somehow pretty far away, but was still threatening the town of Dawnstar. They took him out and then got real cold and returned back to Dawnstar where the Jarl of the land said, Yo, dragonborn, check it out. You can buy this property around this area if you'd like. And the Dragonborn said, sure thing, dude, and did it. And then the Dragonborn traveled to Whiterun in order to investigate their new property. But first got slipped up, whipped up, enjoyed up, and s turned into a little cave filled with some mammoth poachers. There did they eliminate them, but also did they discover that so too were they not they, they were not only poaching mammoths, but mining up iron ore and using wizard's magic to transmutate that ore into silver and gold ore. <gasps> this is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. Pew. We're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Let's re-equip this thing here, huh? Let's see. There we go. Good, good, good. How much ore do we have in total? I, like I said, I did all of the mining and all that. Inventory management. 47. Jeez. I also slept because we were quite tired. And you know what? I thought, hey, we'll probably ditch some trash in our inventory. But then I thought, eh, you know what? Let's just run the hell up to our little place, right? Let's just fly on up there, huh? Let's see. Where do we have to go? Right there. Look, we're so close. Right? And we have uh, super speed on our moose maple, right? It's wonderful. Oh, geez. That was the doom hole. Okay. <laughs> we just got super lucky. I did not even notice that. I didn't see it at all. I just got completely lucky there and didn't fall into it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great time. Good day. All right. Over here. Can we see the patch of ground? Is it at this disgusting area? We're just going to build some shit here? No. No. Okay. Man, maybe we'll just show up and there'll be a massive herb garden right all over the the deed, the stake. The stake, right? Yeah, that's what you would say. The stake. The land stake. Here we are. Oh, look. Some sort of markings left by the giants. Oh, look, yeah, and it leads up to one of their areas. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. You could follow them if you wanted. Oh, that's so neat. Okay. Let's see down here. Oh, this must be the spot. Look, the telltale sign. A big stack of fucking logs. <laughs> wow, it's actually not cold here. It's not super cold. Okay. Wow, it doesn't look like much. Man, but you do, you know what? You get a great fucking view of the mountains here. Oh my god, you get a spectacular view of the mountains. Look, oh my gosh, in the... The viewing portcullis is right over there. Oh, jeez. Or the... Not even the viewing portcullis. The area where you build all your shit. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. The viewing portcullis! This is a workbench. <laughs> this is a workbench. Good God. Oh, should we flip through to, like, the last page of our building guide? And just read about it? Right? Doesn't this cover... Or no, this is just homesteading in general, right? I think so. Yeah, it doesn't list anything to do about our specific speciality here, right? Or am I mistaken? I'm not sure. Well, I have no idea. Eh, well, what can you do? All right, fair enough. Let's see. Well, let's build up the starting infrastructure, right? There we go. Use the drafting table. Small house layout. Boom. Nailed it. Beautiful. 
That's all there is to it. All right, and then here we should probably, let's move this over yonder, right? Right on top of that, why not? Good, okay, build some foundation here. Uh, whoops, we need to rip the shit off this, right? We'll just get this started. There we are, beautiful. Okay, foundation, and then framing. Need some nails, huh? Okay, we'll build a few fucking nails. There we are. Ten nails, love it. Okay. More shit on this. Framing. Alright, need some more nails. <laughs> Good. There we are. You know what? We'll build two. Look at that. We're getting a little getting a little frisky with these nails. Oh, look at that. It's coming along beautifully. Okay. Man, you know what? I said that I loved the Falkreath location. I'm kind of liking this too. Jeez, this ain't half bad. You know what? This is pretty neat. Look at this gorgeous view. Jeez. That said, at Falkreath, you get a nice view of the lake too, right? Oh, you know what? I can appreciate them both equally. You know what I can appreciate equally though? <laughs> <laughs> the Yule March one. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's awful. What maniac goes to live there? <laughs> Maybe if you want, like, that sort of spooky dooky aesthetic for your homestead or whatever. Oh, jeez, what am I even doing here? What am I even doing? I need iron fittings, a lock, and two hinges. Fittings, lock, two hinge. Fittings, lock, two hinge. Fittings, lock, two hinge. Oh, just enough. All right go and then boom the door okay let's also erect a smelter oh we can't oh we can't all right fine you know what we're just gonna stow the rest of our shit inside of here here Carjo, pass me all your weird shit are you carrying any Kajit guards your back let's see trade some stuff I will shoulder some of your burden oh yeah you got a whole bunch of junk all right all these, like, crafting materials. We'll just stow them up in here. And, you know, worst case, right, we, we should be able to that. travel back and forth from here once we get our unit up and running. We really need to think of who we want to work here, right? As our steward, or our, yeah, our steward. We really need to be keeping that in mind. I have no idea who I want at the moment, right? Let's see. Let's throw, hmm... Let us put in, ooh, doo, 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 yeah, right in here. Good. And let's throw, you know what? Let's get all these camping supplies in here just as well. They're weighing us down big time. Here we are. Here, let's sort by weight. Oh no, I can't sort by total weight. Okay, fair enough. Still, we'll throw all these in here just as well. Useful. There we go. All these different pieces of ore. This stuff, man, that is so much. Jeez and Pete. Okay, we could throw in some of these gems just as well, but we'll see if we can hold on to them. That way we can do some enchanting and all that as we're moving around. All right, what else do we have here? We could throw in some of these. We want to keep these. Scimitar, Skull of Corruption. Mm. Maybe I'll hold on to those, right? Because those are pretty unique, aren't they? All right, how about over here? Anything I want to ditch in here? Ha. Huh. Yeah, we can throw that inside. This stuff. Yeah, we're okay. Right? Okay. Here, Carjo, you want some new boots? You're taking us somewhere warm. I will shoulder some of your burden. Let's see. Ebony boots. There you go. Look, he likes them. We put them on, on already. Alright. Good. Let's see. Should we stow away some of these on Carjo? There we go. Wonderful. Love it. Good. All right, that'll do. We follow then. Okay, cool. Let's see. Now what do we have to do? I think we're good to freaking go, huh? Yeah. Hmm. You know, we could get, um... What's their names from over here at Darkwater Crossing? Oh, but... I, I kind of don't like the idea of disturbing the peace there, right? What's his name? The Argonian dude who we went and saved, Durkethus. He's really, like, a valued member of the community. What's-her-name wants to get out of there, but she wanted to explicitly go on, like, some wild and woolly adventure, not just, like, fucking work on a homestead, right? 
That feels counterintuitive to her wishes. Hmm. Oh, I think we could have gotten, uh, what's his name? Rogi Notbeard? Rogi Notbeard here at Kynesgrove? Maybe we'll pull him over, right? He's kind of domestic. Huh? He's kind of domestic. He's a miner. Yeah. Take a break from the mines and just chillax in this beautiful, gorgeous view area. Oh, what a great idea. All right. You know what? Maybe we should do that right now. Huh? Maybe we should go run over to Rogi right now. Okay. Let's see. How can I get over there? Ooh, I'm getting a little sleepy already. It's fine, though. Let's see. Let's bring this up. Here we are. Good. All right. But unfortunately, that fucking means that Karjo is going to go fuck off somewhere, huh? Oh, shit. How do we... Oh, how do we do it then? <laughs> oh, no. Where will Karjo even go? Well, where will he go? Where does this man go? Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good at all. Where will he go to? I have no idea. All right, you know what? We're not doing it because at the very least, I need to look up where he defaults his location to. Does he go back up to the Khajiiti Caravan at Dawnstar? No, he'll just go to whichever one they happen to be at. It'll be impossible to find him again. <laughs> He's, he's probably going to be the hardest fucking dude to track down ever. Okay, yeah, we can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. We've poorly planned this, and now we're paying the fucking price. All right, fair enough. You know what? Let's get back on some Thieves Guild shit, huh? That seems like a great idea. All right, let's see. What are what are, what are are the quests we have here? Yes. Erkensand. Beautiful. Okay. That seems like an ideal situation. Where is Erkensand? Let's see, should we untrack all these just as well? I think so. There we are. Good. Burglary job. We'll keep that up as a reminder at all times. Okay. I'm on my way to Ergens Erkensand, a vast dwarven ruin that supposedly contains the legendary eyes of the Falmer. Carlia and Brynjolf are waiting for me within. Together, we hope to stop Mercer Frey from stealing the eyes and escaping from Skyrim with the skeleton key of Nocturnal. Oh. It says right here in the... I don't think we learned... Did we learn yet about the skeleton key in dialogue? I don't know if we did. Did we? I, we know that Mercer Frey upset Nocturnal and took something from her. But I think I think the quest text here just spoiled it. Did it? I can't remember. Huh. Oh, well. Okay. Well, nonetheless, let's head on over to Erkensand. Let's see. Where even is it? Oh, here it is. Look, I didn't even need to use a search function. Oh my god, it's right over here! Yo! This is perfect! It's right next to us! Oh, beautiful. Alright. Oh, look! The giant's camp that we cleared out was right next to our homestead. Huh. Okay, weird. I feel a little bad, though. We killed our fucking neighbors. Jeez. That's just... That's a Morrowind tradition, huh? <laughs> that's that's Morrowind Home Ownership 101. If you can't be bothered to build your own stronghold, just fucking kill some people who live in a house and take it. It's yours now. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go on over here. We can follow our map, map marker. Beautiful. Oh, shit. Moose Mabel is having some difficulties. Oh! Oh, sorry, Moose Mabel. Okay. Up and over here. Good, good, good. All right, surely these giants have not, like, respawned or anything. We should be A-OK. -okay. There we are. Yeah, look at that, right by their fun little encampment and everything. Oh, neat. Okay, there's some ore and shit on the ground. Do I want that? We passed up one unit of it earlier. You know what? I do want it. I want it. It's super useful. Let's see. Pickaxe. There we go. Okay, let's also chow down on some... How about some rabbit haunch? There we go, we'll eat two of them. Good. Okay, wonderful. Let's also fix our shit here. Good. Okay, we can even unequip that amulet. And re-equip our powerful one, right? Jesus, where even is that? There we are. Okay, good. Here we are. Beautiful. Getting a little chilly out here. There's a nip in the wind, but it's a-okay. Because guess what? We're going to the wormy 
steamy, heated ruins of Urkensand. <laughs> I'm assuming it's warm in these places, right? Given all the steam, right? Oh shit. What's going on? It's some sort of pissed off troll. Is this Urkensand right here? No. That's some other weird ass place. Should we do battle with this asshole? I think so. Why not? Yeah! Yeah! Oh shit! Oh, there we go. Yeah! All right. One more. Yeah! Mounted combat. Uh. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go past all this weird stuff. Looks pretty fucking ominous. What is that? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Shit, for all I know, it's someplace I've never been to. Damn, dude. All right. Let's get on out over here. We'll try to avoid them deftly. On the bright side, it's right next to our new home, right? Easy for exploration. Goodness gracious. Oh, shit. Spider lords. Oh, shit. These frostbite spiders have been frostbitten. Look at them. They've turned white from the snow crusts. There we are. Good. Crisis averted. Let's see. There's a giant camp over there. Let's try to avoid that just as well. Jeez, there's just shit everywhere, huh? Oh, God. We're in big rumble zone again? With who? Who are we rumbling with? They're not even showing up on the dude dar. Oh, there they are. Who is it? Is it this goat? Oh, no, it's another fucking frost troll just out here. Yeah! All right. Yeah! And one more. Yeah, gotcha! <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty fucking effective, huh? Okay. Let's go on up here. I like to imagine I'm getting, you know, the damage bonus from mounted combat. Oh, look at this. Can we get this jack off? Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. This place is... Oh, my God! All right. Let's see. How close are we to Urkenthon? We're very close. Okay, let's dismount here and do yeah. some rumbling. Oh, my God! Whoa! Jeez, I've contracted rock joint as well. Okay. There we go. Where the hell am I? Soul slime? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Shout out some more when Mondays. Okay. There we go. Got you. Look at these frostbite spiders and their unique coloration. I, I don't remember ever seeing anything like this. Yeah! Jeez, and Pete, they're fucking me up big style. All right, let's see. Let's apply some venom here. Why not? And a little bit of healing, right? There we go. Okay, steal your soul. Good. Right in your neck. Okay. Oh, who else? I think we got them. Good. Should we take their pelt? Yes, we should. Apply that. Good. Pick up another one. Oh, that spider had a ring in them. Okay. Wolf pelts and stuff. I think there's one more over here, yeah. Oh, yeah, the frost troll. Take their troll fat. Lovely. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, there's just treasure here. Oh! And a head! A big head right in the middle of the snow. An elixir of alteration? Oh, an amulet of Julianos, and a necklace of minor stam. Wow. I don't even have the minor stam or the fortify stamina enchantment. Holy shit. Wow, well that was pretty fortuitous, huh? It's our lucky day. Okay, let's go on over here. I don't know, sometimes it feels like almost every day is my lucky day. Oh, <laughs> big cheeky smile for the camera. <laughs> let's go on up over here. What if, oh, look at this. It looks immaculate. Jeez, I don't remember approaching it. Maybe maybe the last time I came here, I approached it from uh, the top and dropped down with the old, uh, what do you call it, ability. Jeez. Yeah, where is, where's all of our friends at? Carlia and Grinyoff. I thought they were in here. <laughs> maybe these are members of the Thieves Guild. 
<laughs> Maybe that's who these bandits are affiliated with. Whoops. <laughs> all right. Get all get this far only to get uh, thrown out of the guild. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, fuck you, man. Let's see. I think I might be able to whoosh over there. Wow. Yeah. That's scary, huh? That's fucking scary how I did that. I'd be fucking shit my pants. All right. Oh, jeez, there are more of you. Uh, some basic bandits, though. There we are. Cool. Great. Okay, who's next? Oh, shit, look at this dude. Okay, well, you know what? I can't go up to there to meet you. Oh, shit! Oh, you ass. You motherfucker. All right. Let's see, what's on you? Battle axe garbage. Nord mead. I'll drink it, I guess. Okay. Oh, jeez. Trying to snip me. Look! There's so many snippers around here. Okay. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Let's see. Up and over. Oh, just very deftly matrix the hell out of the way of all these things. Yeah! Oh, shit. All right. Not that one. <laughs> it scared me a bit. All right. Oh, look. Look at this dickhead. Okay. I see you up there. Let's see, how about this? Grab some salt, take cover behind here, and, eh, you know what, let's, let's lightning bolt him. Pew! Man, sure isn't doing a lot at all. Okay. Oh, jeez, yeah, we gotta go the long way around, huh? Gosh, what if these aren't actual normal bandits? What if these are the Dwemer? How do we know? <laughs> what if these are Dwemer bandits? The ancient Dwemer folk. Still haunting their ruins. Here we go. Good. All right. Scroll of Hysteria. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, anything else around here? No, looks good. Let's go on through this. Oh, look, some Dwemer metal. Oh, jeez. Jeez! Doink! There you go. Lucky hit. Oh. <laughs> gotcha! Alright. What have you got? Anything good? I'll take that. Drink your booze. Lovely. Okay. Should we shield up here? Yep. Good, good, good. Look, there's some bear traps around here. Disarm those. Good. Alright. Here we are. Oh, fuck! What a dick! Jeez, fuck you, man! Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I, I uh, fucked up my own dog. Okay, it's fine. Stray dog is still alive. Ooh. Jeez! This dude's like shield bashing like nobody's business. Ooh, shit, sorry. Oh, no! I killed stray dog! Oh, a stray blow has slain stray dog! Oh my gosh, I didn't even have a name for Stray Dog. Jesus. That is grim. Well, what have you got on you? Oh, Stray Dog had a ring on him. Okay. Well, <laughs> good God. Should I reload a save for that? I don't know. I wasn't too terribly attached to Stray Dog. I feel kind of bad about it, though. Jeez. All right, we're just going to put you over there. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, let's see. This is just a full set of ebony right here. I guess we're gonna take it. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna take all their shit. Karsho, do you want to use back. this? Did I just call you Kashi? I'm not sure. I'm sorry, Karjo. All right. I think I may have just heard him saying his own thing. All right. There we are. Good. How about that dwar dwarven shield? You like that? No, you don't. Okay. You want this other axe, though? I You'll probably still will prefer his current unit, though, right? Let's see. Yeah, orcish war axe of thunderbolts. Do you like that? Eh, he still likes the dagger. Kashyyyk okay. Will follow. Fair enough. What's going up here? Jeez, poor stray dog. Poor bastard. Awful. All right. There we go. Right as I was exclaiming and everything, like, oh, poor stray dog, and then guess who fucking kills stray dog? Me. I do it. Jesus. 
All right, over here, ultimate stam, treasure, 44 quatlus, barrel filled with, sack of flour. All right. Let's see, over here, what have we got? Anything? Not in particular. Okay. Over this way. I think we'll we'll just continue getting Stray Dog, though, right? Isn't that how that works? We're going to find Stray Dog somewhere again? Maybe they're, like, some sort of reincarnated dog? The dog... The dogger Vereen? <laughs> That's terrible. All right. I don't know what that does, but it looks intimidating. Oh, look! Hey, what's this do? Oh, the main door! Oh, great. Okay. Cool. There's some scaffolding. That's our way up, I guess. Neat. Can I cook at this? I think I can. I got plenty of salmon that needs cooking. There we are. Let's see. It can warm us up just a bit. Ooh, a snoot as well. Rabbit haunch. Alright, all the salmon. Fortunate that there is not a cooking skill, but eh, what can you do? Alright. Look forward to it in Elder Scrolls 6. Okay, there we go. Head on up over here. Is there some sort of, like, magical secret along this? This feels like something, right? Feels like I'm going towards some sort of magical secret. Or perhaps not. Oh yeah, it just loops back around to... Okay. Alright. No magical secrets, just poor... Poor stray dog. Eliminated. By my own hand. Jesus. <laughs> How grim! Okay. Let's go on up here. There we are. Up and around. Did we check out this centerpiece here? I don't know if we did. Is there anything on this? Eh, it doesn't seem that way. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Let's see, how can I get over that way? We can do a whirlwind sprint, I think. Woo! There we are. Lovely. Okay. We'll go back along this. Cool. Oh shit. Ooh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Good. Alright. Oh, I do like this, right? We're kind of going up all this shit. You know, and it looks really cool how it's all built into the side of the mountain and all that. You get a nice view on your way in. Very neat. Oh, look. Does this go anywhere? Nah, that's just some nothingness up there. Alright. Travel along the rooftops here. Who built all this shit? The bandits? Mercer Frey's bandits? I'm assuming that's who it really is, right? Oh, look. Oh, I bet we could, um, shout our way over, but we need to check this little encampment first, anyhow. Yeah. All right. Oh, look. A side-mounted chest. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Dread zombie scroll, plentiful healing. I'll just take all of it. What's in this? Eh. We can drop this bow if we need to. It's okay. There we are. I think we'll get a lot of loot loot. Oh shit! Gordon gave me a large decorative Dwemer strut. Jeez, that probably weighs like a million. Okay. Honestly, Gordon, that's kind of impressive. You can even pick that up with your little pinchers. Okay. Damn, Gordon, look at you. Okay. That is also cool that Gordon seems to have apparently random loot that is, um, what, do you, what would you say? Responsive or contact sensitive? To wherever you're hanging out at. Hey, what's that building all the way over there? Oh shit, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh shit! Wow! Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, great. Oh, that's neat though that we can see that all the way over there. What is that? Huh. Oh, that's cool. Alright, love it. What's going up in here? The Urkenthond Arcanix. Wow, you know what? Great timing for us to have read about all that shit, huh? In the inquiries. Shit. Okay. Let's turn this on here. Wonderful. Alright. Hey, Carly, are you in here? You better be in here. I came in here and I, I killed my own fucking dog. Sucks ass. With some bandits and everything. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow. It's kind of amazing that this entire room is still standing. Look at this. There's only one fucking support beam for this whole section right here. You don't see any more until over that way. Ooh. That's precarious. <laughs> I would not want to come in here. All right. Jeez, keep a scroll of divine intervention ready just in case. Okay. Let's see. Over here. Good. Anything? No. Uh, Look, there's another big woot loot chest right there. Oh, look. The work of Carly and Brynjolf, I guess. Let's eat that cheese. Eat Quatlu's. Oh, look, the chandelier came down. Okay. They were just snoozing here. Okay. Potion of healing. Wow, an expert lock. Jeez, look at this. Carly and Brynjolf couldn't pick into this thing. Is that the idea? What's going on? Jeez, no wonder I'm gonna end up being the head of the Thieves Guild. These fucking fools can't even get into a expert lock. There we go. Whoa! Ebony gauntlets of major sure grip. Whew! Holy shit! Okay, I'm taking it all. Karja, where are you at? Oh, are you kidding me? This is a no Karjo zone? Is that what this is? This is a no Karjo zone. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, this is just like before. I guess because we're going to have, um... Boom! Carly and Brynjolf as followers in here. Must be. Okay, let's go back outside. Deposit as much shit on them as we can. Because apparently, our friends can't come in here. Oh. Well, that's weird. <laughs> okay. Fine. Let's see. Oh, look, Carjo's coming around. Thank you, Carjo. Please don't fall off, Karjo. Gordon, don't you don't you push Karjo off there. Okay. Gordon, please don't push me off either. Okay. If anyone sneaks up on us, I will shoulder some of your burden. There we are. And let's give you this. How about some of these? Major sure grip. Lock picking. There we go. Good. Let's see, let's dump as much stuff as we possibly can. What about these arrows? Good. Poacher's axe? Do I really want to get rid of that? I don't know. Let's see over here. How about all these? Yeah, this fucking strut! Damn you, Gordon! I mean, it is pretty good for what it, what we need, right? Let's see. We'll hold on to it last. Worse, if we can, we'll give it to Karjo. Otherwise, we're just going to dump it somewhere. Okay. Let's see. All these. Good. Good, good, good. How about... Hmm. What else could I drop off here? Mm hmm hmm All right. You know what? Let's get rid of all these hats. They're quite heavy. There we are. They're like two units each for one of those circlets, right? Yeah. It adds up. Okay. These amulets are five each. We could give him some Satteralia clothing. There we go. It'd be weird if he preferred that. Weird, but you know what? I respect it. Okay, what else can we get rid of here? Probably the woodcutter's axe. We don't need that. There may be ore inside, so we should hold on to that. The poacher's axe. We could give that to Karjo, but it is quite valuable. Is there anything else I could give him instead? Just in case, like, we lose Karjo somehow. Hmm. We could give him all this other weird shit. Right? Oh, let's give him some salmon meat. There we go. Genius. Okay. Man, we have so much vegetable soup built up. Look, we're carrying around 18 fucking units of vegetable soup. We need to be eating this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Let's be eating this. All right. Fair enough. Let's see. What else can we get here? Let's deposit some of these trash gems, right? There we are. Good. Just all these filled ones. Great. There we are. How about these? Good. Snow bear pelt. Almost missed it. The large strut. Jeez, Carjo, you can really hold on to a bunch of shit, can't you? Okay. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm running out of junk here. 
Let's see, some books, maybe? Hmm. Anything else? Sort by weight. Oh, nope, he's encumbered. All right, that one book was enough. Okay. Lead on, friend. Good shit, Carjo. We'll be back. Take care out here. There's a fire down there or whatever. I think, yeah. Go chill out with Gordon by the fire. There we are. <laughs> Poor Carjo. All right. Here we are. Yeah, this totally must be a similar situation to uh, when we went into the ruin and got paralyzed, shot by Mercer Frey. Right. Oh, look, hey, this is actually a treasure chest right here. I thought it was part of the uh, the stonework. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, it's fine. Look, we've got like 80 lockpicks. It's all good. A lockpick for eight gold. Good lord. Worth it for the the XP though, the lock picking XP. Definitely worth it for that. Okay. Let's turn on our light here. Boom. Love it. Okay. Anything else good around here? We could sleep in one of these bedrolls, right? It'll top us off, won't it? Yeah, because it's an interior. We should pr Oh! Oh, that was a bear trap one. How did I not get hurt by that? Jeez. <laughs> I'm invincible! Alright, let's see. Let's sleep right next to one of these dead bodies. Let's go for eight hours. There we are. Good. We'll be raring to go for adventure inside of this weird, messed up area. There we are. Lovely. Okay. Cool. Anything else I need to keep in mind? Weird that this is right here, right? Right at the entrance? You, you you sit in this and your back is against the main door? Gosh, who can even understand the enigma that is Dwemer Engineering? How incredible. <laughs> I mean, clearly this was meant to be some sort of like amphitheater or sacrificial area or whatever. Right here in the center. But you put a door right there. What are you doing? Have people sit right there or right there or something. Not at one of the main entryways. Come on. What are you doing, Dwemer? I've made fucking Minecraft houses that make more sense. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Good. And look, this leads nowhere. Look, there's this grand, amazing opening thing. And what's it go right into? A big fucking rock! What sense does this make? The main exit to this area? Is over in the corner? Oh, oh shit. The Dwemer. Look, they, you can make this, but you can't make a fucking building that makes any sense? Oh, what are you doing? I'm gonna eat a snooter. There we go. I forget, do these things have souls? No. Okay. There we are. Oh, shit. There we are. Gotcha. And they have, yeah, they got that good shit, don't they? Okay. Dwarven bolts, I guess I'll take them. Oh, the gyro I don't actually need, do I? Yeah, I'll ditch that. Leave that on you. Alright. Cool. Look at all this good stuff. Neat. Alright. Up and over. Jeez, Carlia and Brynjolf really took off in here, huh? Okay. Jeez, would they clear out the whole fucking dungeon without me? They got bored of waiting? <laughs> Alright. Let's see, more metal. We can smelt all this shit down. Lovely. Okay. Oh shit, one of these dickheads. Ugh. Fucking battle with some robots. Ugh. Fucking Decepticons. There we are. Giant ass plate metal. Great. Heal up a bit here. Can hear some sort of weird machination. Oh, right up there. A turbine of some sort. Okay. Good. Honestly, I'm surprised that they have so many, like, natural fire braziers and stuff in them. You'd think they would just have the Nixie tubes everywhere, right? All right, let's see. Or like whatever the hell that is. That's that's like their weird Nixie tube shit, huh? These? I don't even know if that that's what these are. They're probably more magical in nature. Yeah, they give off a weird flame. Hmm. Like gas lighting or something. Okay. If we climb up here, yeah, this thing's gonna pop out. Boom. And this will give us time. That way the uh, lower ones don't reach us. We can either kill or damage the shit out of that. 
Great. There's also some treasure up here. What have we got? Let's see. Steel plate of major alteration. The value to weight ratio isn't good. We can take it, but uh, it's on our list to drop. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Dickhead. Please, get out. Oh, fuck. All right. Let's take this. This. Oops, I took the cog. Please don't kill me. Whew. Okay, crisis averted. <laughs> Let's drop that cog. There we are. Good. You know what? Veg soup time. Why not? Let's clear some of it out. Whoop! Down here. Alright. I love the little quick animation of them uh, swapping weapon types, right? Do you see how, like, the armor plating flicked? Very cool. Okay. And of course how they're, like, erupting steam at all times. It's such a nice advancement over, uh, what they set up in Morrowind, huh? Well, not to say that the Dwemer first appeared in, in Morrowind. Far from it, right? Okay. Let's see. Here, we got some loot loot. Ooh. Amulet of Stendar. Banded Iron Armor of Minor Illusion. Now that is really bad. We're definitely, we're just going to leave that. I can already say, right from the start, this is so bad, we're, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that shit, I don't need that. All right, what do we got over here? Yep, Sphere Master, fine, fine. Look at this, ooh, how terrifying. They got the Mario circuit over here, look. Oh, what will happen? Oh, it doesn't even reach me. Fools, stupid one, stupid, stupid. Look at this shit. Going into third person for this. Look at that. Look, it doesn't even get up here. What are you what are y'all doing? What are you doing? You can't even reach me. You can't even reach me. Look, I'm not even in sneak mode. What do you think I am? Some kind of master of disguise and sneaking around? You can't get me. Look, it doesn't even get- Oh fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh, and it does like no damage. <laughs> Alright. That's right, you fucking idiots. You stupid, stupid. Stupid dwemer with your flame spouts. Guess what I've been fighting? Dragons. I've been having flame thrown on me for a million years. Also, wizards. <laughs> wizards as well. Wizards do that. Let's see anything else around here. Honestly, you know what? Looking at this, I'm surprised they don't have flamethrowers on some of their creatures, right? You have to imagine in ESO they have that going on, right? Where are the flamethrowers at? Or a lightning thrower or something like that. Okay. Over here. Good. Alright. More curious if there's any good loot loot around. That doesn't seem to be the case. I'm assuming once we get to the end of this little gauntlet, we'll be able to shut everything off. Right? Okay. Let's do a quick save. Right. Oh. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. There we are. Pop the gate. Is there actually anything over there? Hmm. Let's find out. Ooh, shit. Now they're awake. Jeez. Okay. Let's go back into first person. Jeez. Ah. Oh my god, shit's blowing up all over the place. Can you blow these dudes? Yeah, you can. Maybe they'll catch on fire and die. Ugh. That said the fire damage is, like, negligible. Oh, they don't even get hit by it. Alright, now that's clever. Okay. There we are. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna stand in the fire here and loot these. <laughs> Get all these goodies. So much good stuff. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. Neat. Top myself off. Nice way to stay warm. Okay. Anything else here? Look at this. Ooh. Now this piston, it's got the mood lighting. Ooh. Okay. Up and over. Oh, look. Treasure. 
Jeez, yeah, they can't even... What are you doing, Brynjolf and Carlia? None of this stuff is popping open? No interest in any of this? Okay. Now, the value to weight ratio on this Iron Mace of Sparks. Garbo. Tossing it. Okay. Over here. Big vats of Dwemer poo. Look at this. Oil containers. Okay. Some scrap metal. Ugh. Some ears as well. Part of their weird fucked up torture or whatever. Oh, we could have gone through this? Yeah, that's the fire room. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even notice this gate up here. It just looked like a, uh, I don't know, like a fencing barrier. Oh, Shazbot. Okay. Mr. Lock. Jesus. <laughs> I hope there's not a lot of hefty locks in here. Otherwise, you know what? Maybe this is what happened to him. Maybe this is exactly what happened to Brynjolf and Carlyle. <laughs> All right. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, should we uh, go on this little unit here? Or? Ooh, the Urkenthond Grand Cavern. Oh. Maybe we travel up over this way real quick. There we are. Take care of business here. Lovely. Love you got scrap metal, a petty gem. Oh, look, some hidden treasure. All right. Hide armor as well. Good. All right. Neat. I think we got everything in this area, though, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is probably our quick, easy exit, huh? Well, no. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you exit this place in an odd way, huh? Maybe I'm tripping balls. Anyway, down we go. Ooh, neat. Okay. Cool. Hey, everybody! What's going on? Oh. Mercer's been here. I hope we aren't too late. Those bandits back there. Brynjolf and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. Oh, I thought they were we with him. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. Okay, what about the bandits outside? <laughs> you guys just snuck by? <laughs> Did you think I would sneak by too? No, I, I killed them. All right. I'm ready, let's go. Actually, you know what? Hey, <laughs> maybe this is a good time to pause the action, and when next we come back, we're going in a little bit deeper. I can't remember if this is the finale or if we show up somewhere else. I can't remember. I think I think we this is the finale for the Thieves Guild, right? Or at least the Thieves Guild main quest, right? I think it is. Yeah, isn't it? Anyway, when next we come back, we're going through the big double doors with Carly and Brynjolf. They're in their amazing... Uh, Nightingale armor, and we are not. <laughs> we look like a real true blue thief, don't we? <laughs> With our full plate mail and everything. Jeez. All right. When next we come back, all that fun stuff. However, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. And what are we reading this time? But well, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Let's see. How about... Ooh, Songs of the Return. I believe, yeah, we have all four volumes. They're in an odd and peculiar order, but we have all four. Let's give them, give them a read. Songs of the Return, Volume 2, the first one that is available. I wonder if in uh, ESO, if there's all of them, if all of them are present in that game. I don't know. They may not have even been written yet. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink here. All right, Songs of the Return, Volume 2. The first tale of the Darumzu. Lovely. Our great Lord Yisgrimor, the harbinger of us all, did then send forth his two beloved sons, with him the only other survivors of the brutalities of Sarthal, to seek out the bravest warriors of the land and mount the Great Return. Have we been to Sarthal yet? I can't remember. You definitely do go there at some point. Hmm. I can't remember if we've been to Sarthal yet. Is that, um... That might be the final showdown area. <laughs> now that I think of it. Alright. Ingol and Ilgar, 
They were called, and they were known among at Mora as fine warriors with bright eyes and dawning futures. Ingol, the Elder, was the brave strategist. We've heard about Ingol and the Sea Ghosts, but not Ilgar. Hmm. Was the brave strategist, bringing his learning to bear on the battlefield, that his enemies would be defeated before they even knew the battle had begun. Ilgar, the Younger, was possessed of an unwavering spirit that drove his singular prowess to overwhelming feats in war. Together, the mind and the arm, they were capable of sowing a destruction most thorough and glorious to any foe who stood before them. Before they parted ways to gather their crews, the two clasped arms and necks in the old fashion and laughed at the, he at the heavens for their stories to come. They clasped arms and necks? What? Clasped necks? How do you clasp a neck? Oh, like they, they hugged really closely. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I was like, what are you talking about? What does that mean? <laughs> Young Ilgar then took to the massive shipyards of Yulkerfeek at the southern point and commissioned two ships for himself and his brother. He would command the Duramzu and his brother the Harak, thus carrying the names of the two favored stars of their heavens. The shipmaker's spirits had been suitably filled by Ysgrimor's tales of the savage elves, and they set about to birth ships that befit their noble homeland. Arrangements having been made, Ilgar set forth to the academies of honored soldiers, seeking out his most trusted friends and advisors to join him on the adventure of the return. By now, the stories of the new land to the south were spreading before him, and the mere emergence of his presence was enough to cause the finest warriors to lay down their present undertakings and follow him. It is interesting, um, right? This is about them coming from Atmora to Tamriel, right? Why does it say, like, reference their heavens? Wouldn't it be the same? Or did it change over time? Or for some reason, does viewing the heavens from, uh... From at more, does it look different? Is there, like, for some reason, like, less light pollution? Why would that even be a factor in Skyrim Land or in Elder Scrolls at all, right? Huh. Weird. Anyway, let's see here. By now... Yeah, by now the stories of the new land to the south were spreading before him, and the mere emergence of his presence was enough to cause the finest warriors to lay down their present undertakings and follow him. So was he able to call to his side the great shield sisters, Froa and Grosta, who thought and spoke as one, and they brought with them the wise war teacher, Adrumk, Adrumk, who first taught them to dance among the blades. She, in turn, mustered all the students at her command, whose names were not yet made, but some of whom would one day be known. Herm Hermus Hermiscare, who threw his shield. Orlok, who breathed fire. Ramth, or Kampth, the greater. Merkillian, Ramth, and the far-sighted Uchi, <laughs> who would see the first of many dawns. On the day of final passage, when the many oared fleet would last see the distant green summers of Atmora, the brothers were near in their father's wake as the freshly joined five hundred would eagerly press onwards towards Tamriel. Ah, the five hundred companions, right? Isn't that, I think. Ilgar could see his well-minded brother smiling from afar across the waves and they shouted war cries to each other longing for the soon day when their assembled crews would draw the treacherous elf blood into the ground which they would now claim for their own rights. But Kine's ministrations are not to be taken lightly, and though her blessings gave wind to drive those brave sailors to their destiny, so too did her mighty tears fall 
to drive them apart. When the storm of separation first arose, young Ilgar had no fear, for his crew was strong and able, and their ship drove true through the forest of swells as though pulled by the rope of fate. When the skies cleared and Ilgar glimpsed again with new eyes, the land of his past and future home, he knew his brother's vessel was not within his horizon. The Duramzu, arriving late, drew forth into the sands, and Yilgar rushed to his father to seek word of his brother. The great Ysgrimor, harbinger of us all, wept for his lost son, and sought comfort in the arms of his only remaining joy. The crew of the Harak became the first deaths among the five hundred, and Yilgar, so enraged with love for his brother that his crew would soon be counted as first among the many noble and honored names in the Companions. Ah, huh, cool, neat, wow, this is, we could get a lot of very interesting information out of these books. Songs of the Return, right? If all of these uh, talk about the Return, geez, unfortunately, we're going from 2 to 7 to 19 to 56. Yo! What's going on? <laughs> We're missing out on a few songs here. <laughs> Jeez and Pete. All right. When next we come back, heading on in. Falmerize. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>